I'm so excited to be here at Platform Calgary with you today. My name is Nate Glubish. I'm the Minister of Service Alberta. And uh, I just want to just say a big thank you to Dr. Terry Rock, uh, who's the President and CEO of Platform Calgary, and also Liam Hunter, uh, who's the Chair of the Alberta Students Executive Council, for joining me today. So, for those of you who don't know much about me, I'm the resident tech nerd in government. That's kind of what I call myself, and I'm proud of it. Uh, before I was an MLA, I was a venture capital investor for the better part of 15 years, investing in helping to develop new tools and technologies and to commercialize that technology uh, from Alberta-based companies. It was an exciting career, and it opened my eyes to the power of technology and what's possible. And so now, as a minister in Alberta's government, I'm looking for ways to build more of a culture of innovation inside of government and to find ways to partner with a lot of the technology ecosystem that is growing at an exciting rate across this province to find ways to use technology to solve problems in new ways. And so as a part of Alberta's recovery plan, we're looking for ways to do just that. And that this will, so I'm really excited to announce something a little bit new here shortly. So when we talk about technology, I often say technology is not just an industry. It is the future of every industry, and it must be the future of government. And some of the most exciting technologies that I had the pleasure of witnessing and helping to create and to commercialize were data-driven innovations. Well, that sets the stage for some of the most exciting things that we can do as government. Right now, government spends so much time, energy, and money to gather, store, and secure large pools of data. Well, imagine if we also turned our attention to finding ways to add value to that data and to work with innovators from across this province to create new tools and technologies that are data-driven innovations based on that data to solve problems in new ways. The future is exciting, and I am so excited to tell you that we're working on ways to do exactly that, and we'll have a lot more to say on that in the months to come. But in the meantime, what else can we do to create a culture of innovation? Well, in my mind, one of the best things that we can do is to create opportunities for government employees who are focused on what are the problems we need to solve and the obstacles we need to overcome, to connect with our, in, in, our entrepreneurs and our innovators and our academics who have so much expertise and skill in the technology space, who know more about what's possible with technology, but the two historically don't meet often. So government knows what problems they have, but they don't know what technology is out there. And similarly, entrepreneurs and innovators know a lot about what they can do, but they don't know what the problems and obstacles are that are important for government to solve. So what if we were to start taking steps to more regularly connecting the two groups together to say, hey, what are you really good at? And hey, what are the problems you're trying to solve? Well, today I'm so excited to announce for you that Alberta's government is partnering with Platform Calgary to introduce Hackit.ab, a new innovation hackathon. So hackathons have a long history in Alberta and across Canada as a way to bring together entrepreneurs, innovators, students, academics, to try and, in a short period of time, come up with a quick solution using technology to solve a problem in a new way. So what better way for us to focus on a culture of innovation in government than to use a hackathon to bring the tech community together with government to do exactly that. This three-day event will be online. It will take place November 24th to 28th as the finale of Calgary's Innovation Week. Post-secondary students, recent, recent graduates, startups and entrepreneurs, and innovative thinkers from all across Alberta can register for this event for free at alberta.ca slash hackit. We are challenging participants to work as a team, uh, to work in a team, and to develop solutions that address our pre-identified problem. So what is the problem that this initial hackathon will be focused on? Well, we know that for Albertans to have a good future, a good economic future, they need to have access to good education, and they need to have a path from that education to a good, rewarding, well-paying job. And so the problem we will be presenting to our participants in this hackathon will be to say, how can we use technology to connect current and aspiring students with better information to make the best, most optimal decision possible of what, what program they want to pursue in their education, and also to connect them to 
what are the labor market outcomes so that they can have confidence that once they choose their desired path of education, they're going to have a great, well-paying job and great value in their career going forward but also to use technology to try and assist them to say, what are all of the programs and supports that would come alongside of you to support you in your education journey? What scholarships and grants might be available? What uh, co-op opportunities or internships might be available to support you in your chosen field of study? How do we pull all of this information together using technology to create a simple solution that will give you the best information possible to chart the path for your future? I'm so excited to see what our participants will come up with and I think this is really going to be a very valuable tool for current and future students all across the province. So Hackett.ab will kick off with a virtual networking event. It will be the perfect way for, new, for the individuals participating to connect with other partial teams or other individuals and to, to round out the talent that they will need to uh, put their best feet forward in this hackathon experience. Over the weekend, participants will also be able to attend guest speaker presentations and work with government mentors and industry coaches before presenting their solutions to a panel of judges that will include representatives from Alberta's growing tech sector. Judges and guest speakers will be announced throughout the month at alberta.ca slash hackettab and as well on the Service Alberta Twitter channel. I'm really excited about this new hackathon and I know both Terry and Liam are too. So with that, I'd like to turn the podium over to Dr. Terry Rock. Thank you, Terry. Well, thanks, uh, Minister Glubish. Um, it's a, only a few short months ago that we had our first uh, chance to tour you through Calgary's new home for innovators, the Platform Innovation Center, and you shared with us your vision for how uh, the government of Alberta could start uh, engaging the innovation ecosystem in Alberta to solve uh, challenges in new and exciting ways to build an innovative mindset within government. And so here we are today, uh, starting kicking off that process, and we couldn't be more excited. Alberta has a history of innovation. Albertans solve some of the toughest problems in the world, sustainable energy, feeding the world, and now we're looking at talent. We have uh, in Alberta a big network of organizations just like Platform. The Alberta Innovation Network is in regions all over the province, and that whole network through Platform's um, uh, anchoring of this process will come to bear. We're especially excited to be working with our partners in Edmonton, Innovate Edmonton, to deliver uh, this work. Together, we've built something called the Alberta Innovation Corridor, which is to try to get the two big municipalities in the city to work more closely together. And most recently, the government of Alberta invested in the Alberta Pre-Accelerator that will be delivered for entrepreneurs and innovators in every corner of the province to get their ideas off the ground. We're doing this because inclusive, tech-led, uh, economic growth and diver diversification is the way of the future. So Platform Calgary and the Platform Innovation Center is about three key themes, place, programs, and partners. Place is where we are right now, Calgary's new home for innovators. You're in the dynamic East Village neighborhood of Calgary. You're across the street from our new public library, down the street from the National Music Center. Uh, nearby where the new uh, um, Entertainment and Culture District and Calgary's Event Center will be built. A very dynamic part of our city. There's going to be a community of innovators here opening when we open to the public in January. Programs are about stage and sector specific support for entrepreneurs. No matter what stage of the, uh, of the journey they're on, that support will be available here and we'll do that through a network that is growing of 60 partners that all are dedicated, sharing our vision uh, to serve innovators. So when we think about the kinds of programs that are going to make a difference and move the needle, working with large enterprise that has these very exciting problems and challenges that they want to either get better themselves or to better serve a community are some of the most important things we can be working on. A hackathon is a way to start approaching these uh, challenges to get people interested in it and in the long run, potentially, 
We could even see new businesses created that export around the world and create many, many new jobs that are important for securing our future. So it's not easy for a large organization like government to innovate, as Minister Glubish talked about. And so that's why it's so important that we have leadership that says, no, we're going to make this happen. We're going to step out to our community and invite you in to bring your expertise into what we're doing. There's, a, I speak with colleagues across the country about this challenge. I was just on a call yesterday about this, and it's not every government that decides to step forward the way the government of Alberta has. So we appreciate you doing that. The, the topic itself, helping Albertans connect uh, their talent to emerging jobs. There isn't a more um, important topic in our province right now. Uh, Alberta's tech sector has been growing at, at a record pace just this last quarter. We had nearly a hundred million dollars of uh, venture investment in tech. I spent a lot of time talking to CEOs of tech companies and their number one issue is having the talent they need to grow at the pace that they can grow because what they're doing is resonating around the world. So anything we can do to better connect um, and, and skill up our community to, to uh, fill out those empty jobs uh, is gonna be welcomed with open arms by the community. So we're very excited then uh, to be uh, leading uh, this process as, a, as the first one out of the gate with the province, uh, bringing our entire community of innovation support organizations from across the province to the table uh, reaching into every corner of the, of the province to address the first uh, Hackett AB. Uh, we look forward to many more and supporting our colleagues when they lead them in Edmonton and around the province. And with that, uh, I'll, I invite Liam up to, uh, from the student perspective. Thank you. As I was so graciously introduced, my name is Liam Hunter. I am the chair of the Alberta Students Executive Council, which is an advocacy organization representing over 17 member institutions, student associations, over 110,000 students. But more than that, I'm also a student of the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program here in Calgary at SATE. It's been my uh, great privilege to participate in many design teams throughout my career in post-secondary. I'd also like to thank the minister for inviting us here to uh, discuss the importance of des problem-based design challenges. Things like hackathons um, and, and teams like this, opportunities uh, like Hackett.ab induce innovation in entrepreneurs and manifest application of learned skills in post-secondary students. When they're at their best, they allow students to apply uh, the skills that they've learned in the classroom, but further identify the skills that are actually going to carry them into a changing and dynamic Albertan economy. Hackett gives the participants the chance to tackle a real-world problem and discover these things for themselves now and into the future. And the ability to link those learned skills to their post-secondary experience and their course choices, whether it's developing a, a, a tool to help students inform their careers, uh, to, to pull in future global trend data and then point students down the pathways towards a job in those industries. As Alberta positions itself as a leader in artificial intelligence, machine learning, healthcare technology, other emerging fields, a pathways tool like this and opportunities to establish these learned skills in a real world scenario are gonna be invaluable for our students. This experience should provide the opportunity connect, to connect and develop networks with Alberta's innovation ecosystem and industry players potential future employers, post-secondary leaders, and government. On top of it all, for some students, and this is vital, the experience they have at Hackett, paired with work-integrated learning opportunities being developed across our entire province, are gonna be some of the only things on their resume that really allow them to push into our industry. Events like Hackett are gonna be vital in making sure that our students not only are uh, applying the skills that they learn in the classroom, but knowing exactly what's gonna take them into the future. Additionally, it provides industries that are growing an opportunity to see the new human capital being generated by our, our learning institutions and capitalize on the investments of our, of our taxpayers. With that, I'd like to thank the minister once again.
for bringing Alberta Students Executive Council here, uh, and I'll pass it back to you. Well, thank you so much, Liam, and thank you for giving such a great insight into how valuable a tool like this will be to help uh, Alberta students to reach their fullest potential, to find new pathways to uh, connecting to great labor market outcomes uh, and, uh, and connecting with uh, folks that could help them along that journey, whether that be connecting with other established entrepreneurs and startups in the tech ecosystem, uh, or whether that be connecting with government to say, hey, I, got, I actually had a hand in helping the government of Alberta develop a solution to a real problem. Uh, I'm really excited about what that's gonna do to open up more opportunities for Alberta students. And again, this all comes back down to creating a culture of innovation in government, which by doing so will help us to deliver better outcomes for Albertans, save taxpayers money, and uh, ultimately build a brighter future for everyone in this province. So happy to take any questions. Thank you. We have no questions on the line right now. Is there anyone in the room with a question? Uh, if you do, you can come right up to the microphone here. All right, then thank you everyone for your time and for joining us, and uh, thank you, Minister, Doctor, and Liam as well. Thank you, everybody.